It is here, opening day of the Lilac Festival, the largest free festival of its kind anywhere in North America, and it runs for you the next week and a half. Jatyra Marsh has been out at Highland Park all morning as they got ready. She joins us live once again, Jatyra. <laughs> Brennan, it is quite the contrast from being here earlier uh, when things were still being set up to now as foot traffic is picking up for all the fun that's in store. Speaking of which, there are a few new things that are taking place this weekend. There are new food vendors along with uh, music entertainment that was here that wasn't here last year uh, and there's a giving garden which is an initiative that allows festival goers to buy flowers place them in pergolas and the money raised goes to the charities that sponsor support earlier I spoke with a couple of event attendees and they shared what they hope to see I'm not so excited to possibly see a bunch of lilacs or maybe maybe a bunch of stuff that people put in amusement parks like like a bunch of like a bunch of games or rides or stuff. Now this is a 10 day event that starts at 1030 in the morning and is over at 830 at night live at the Lilac Festival. Jatyra Marsh News 8. Brennan back to you. All right, Jatyra, a lot of fun. The early crowds there. Let's talk a little bit more about those vendors as they're getting ready for what could be record numbers in terms of crowd size over the span of this year's festival. We have lots going on in Rochester this week, as you know, yeah. and the weather looks great, and I think people are really out of the, the COVID funk. We generally see at least at least 500,000 people, wow. if not more. Half a million and all the food. Some people told us they want to eat the corn dogs, fried Oreos, burgers, fries. There's also going to be a lot of bacon. The vendors are serving dishes that are certainly intriguing. Bourbon chicken over rice. Oh, wow. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, you know, well, you know, that's, uh, we try to mix it up. There's also a guy with this bacon, jelly, and jam thing going on over there. You can learn all about the festival, what's happening for the next week and a half, checking out the visitor's guide we made for you. It is posted right now at rochesterfirst.com.